we got uh, Lexus on Deke's headset. How do you read, Houston? We read you loud and clear, and we have a good picture. Understand. And uh, Lexi has on Deke's headset. Yes. The astronauts are on the line, sir. Gentlemen, um, let me call to express my very great admiration for your hard work, your total dedication in preparing for this first joint flight. All of us here in Washington in the United States send to you our very warmest congratulations for your successful rendezvous and for your docking, and we wish you the very best for a successful completion of the remainder of your mission. Your flight is a momentous event and a very great achievement, not only for the five of you, but also for the thousands of American and Soviet scientists and technicians who have worked together for three years to ensure the success of this very historic and very successful experiment in international cooperation. It's taken us many years to open this door to useful cooperation in space between our two countries. And I'm confident that the day is not far off when space missions made possible by this first joint effort will be more or less commonplace. We all look forward to your safe return, and we follow it with great interest the success so far. And we look forward to talking with you on Earth again when you do end your flights. Uh, General Stafford, uh, Tom, now that you've had a, an opportunity to test the new docking system, do you think uh, it will be suitable for future international manned space flight? Uh, yes, sir, Mr. President, I sure do. Out of the three docking systems uh, I've used, this was the smoothest one so far. It worked beautifully. About three and a half hours ago, I sat here in the Oval Office and watched the docking procedure. It looked awfully simple from here. I'm sure it wasn't that simple uh, for the five of you. Let me, if I might, uh, yes, Tom. Let me say a word or two, if I might, to Colonel Leonoff. Uh, the docking was a critical phase of the joint mission. Uh, Colonel, could you describe it, and would you describe the reaction of the crews on meeting in space after such a long preparation? I think you and the other four have done very, very well so far, and may I congratulate you and uh, your associates on this great achievement. Now, Dr. Slayton, uh, Deke, uh, you've had a very, very long record of distinguished service preparing other astronaut crews for various space missions, and we're extremely pleased to see you on the crew of the first international manned space flight. As the world's oldest space rookie, do you have any advice for young people who hope to fly on future space missions? Deke, 
did you have a chance to hear my question? Uh, no, sir, Mr. President, unfortunately. Can I repeat it and... Um, Wait so long. Well, Tom, just repeat it for me, sir. Well, uh, <laughs> yes, I have a lot of advice for uh, <laughs> young people, but I guess uh, probably one of the most important bits is to, number one, decide what you really want to do, and then secondly, never give up until you done it. Well, you're a darn good example, Deke, of uh, never giving up and continuing and... I know it is a great feeling of, uh, of uh, success from your point of view to have made this flight and to be on board with your four associates. Uh, uh, Vance Brand, uh, I know that you're still in the Apollo uh, and holding the fort there. It's been my... Um, observation that the crews on both sides have uh, worked very hard to learn either Russian on the one hand or English on the other. Uh, has this training period, which is so important, stood the test in the complicated procedures that all of you must execute in this very delicate mission? Uh, Mr. President, I, I believe it really has, I think, in a way. Uh, our project, and in particular the training that uh, we've undergone, has been a sort of a model for uh, future uh, similar projects. I think uh, it's been a real <clears throat> pleasant experience to uh, work on learning Russian and uh, to be able to uh, work with the cosmonauts. And I think uh, we'll have some ideas that would probably help people in the future on similar uh, tasks. Thank you very much, uh, Vance. Um, I might like to say a word or two to uh, uh, Valerie uh, Kubasov, the other uh, member of the cosmonaut crew. I might say to him, uh, as well as uh, Colonel Leonov, I remember both of you on that enjoyable Saturday last September when both crews visited the White House and joined me in a picnic over in Virginia. We flew from the White House over to this picnic uh, just across the river. We had some um, uh, crab uh, specialties that uh, I enjoyed, and I think you uh, did. I'm sure you're having a little different menu, uh, somewhat uh, different food on this occasion. What are you having over there um, out in space? We have a good uh, space uh, food. There are some Russian soup, some Russian meat, some juice, some coffee, and uh, a lot of butter. Well, let me say in conclusion, um, we look forward to your safe return. It's been a tremendous demonstration of cooperation between our scientists, our technicians, and of course, our astronauts and their counterparts, the cosmonauts from the Soviet Union. I congratulate everybody connected with the flight, and particularly the five of you who are setting this outstanding example of what we have to do in the future to make it a better world. And may I say, in signing off, here's to a soft landing. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. President. It's certainly been an honor to serve the country and work here. We'll see you when you get back. Yes, sir. That's really fantastic. Yeah.